If Batman drove a pickup truck, I guess it would look like this. Except Batman likes to roll CNET style. Hmm. Let's drive the 2012 Honda Ridgeline Sport and check the tech. Think of the Ridgeline as sort of a lighter footprint version of a Chevy Avalanche or an Escalade EXT. Those, of course, both V8 trucks that weigh some 1,300 pounds more. But the core idea is there, an SUT, Sport Utility Truck. It's what sets them apart. And this one, even further so, thanks to its dearth of gadgetry and cylinders. But is that all a bad thing? OK, welcome to my high-tech lair inside the Ridgeline. <laughs> Hardly. There is no tech in this car. I mean, no tech. Well, unless you call the aux jack tech. That's like having a speedometer in this day and age. And that's about as far as it goes. Yeah, we got a CD slot. There isn't even Bluetooth available on a Ridgeline Sport. Navigation, not available. Rear camera, not available. Bluetooth streaming, you yeah, haven't even got Bluetooth calling. Are you kidding? This is the lowest tech ride I've ever reviewed for CNET. If you want any of that kind of technology, you've got to go up to what they call the RTL trim level. It's kind of their Luxo version of this thing, but that's another review. The Sport is real simple. The cabin design is kind of an interesting, handsome, but weird mishmash of round stuff and square stuff. It doesn't appeal to me. It doesn't turn me off. Everything's big, though, so you can operate it with your gloves on. It's a good truck thing. And there are storage binnacles everywhere. Here's a place for canned vegetables over there. You can run an adoption center out of this bin. And the last thing I want to call out is the most charming. Check it out. My 69 Lincoln has a column shifter. That's the last time I handled one. It connects to a one choice only five speed automatic. And there's an overdrive lockout button right here. It's a big lockout. It drops you from five down to three as your max gear. Note that you can only get buckets in the front, no bench, so that does cut your max seating capacity down to five. Bench in the rear, buckets in the front. Now back here is evidence of why you might call the Ridgeline the thinking hillbillies pickup. It goes two ways. That's a magic gate. Down that way, or reach down here for the secret lever. Ah. Now here in the engine bay is where the Ridgeline further raises the eyebrows of real truck people. Because that motor, as you may notice, is transverse mounted. It's sitting side saddle. Real trucks go this way. 250 horsepower on this car, 247 foot-pounds of torque. Gets this 4,500-pound beast up to 60 in about eight seconds while delivering meh, 1521 MPG through that one choice only five-speed automatic. Now driving a Ridgeline is definitely a full-size feeling truck experience. It's got that kind of heavily sprung suspension that you know is ready to take on a pretty good payload. Note this vehicle does have independent suspension on all four corners, another very car-like trait. But to be honest, your F-150s and Silverados and your Ram trucks, they've all tuned out that truck harshness. The, the market's just too competitive to ride like a truck, even if you are one. Power is good, not overwhelming. Honda says, leave the thing in drive and don't engage anything unless you really get in trouble. An extremely steep incline or you're just stuck in a hole or a, a big mud bog or something. Then you would turn on that variable torque management for lock button to get some rear locking up to about 18 miles an hour. It's obviously a low speed thing. This is not like a Jeep where you're going to be out there doing, as I understand it, some really serious off-roading. This is more of a vehicle that can handle things so you don't get in trouble. Okay, pricing of Ridgeline Sports, real easy. Just go buy it. It's 31,000 delivered. You'll probably pay quite a bit less because typically they don't sell worth a damn, so discounting's not unheard of. In terms of tech options, ha! You can add XM radio for 300 bucks, rear backup sensors for 450. Both of those are dealer installed. There are no CNET style factory options. Anything like moonroof, nav, rear camera, Bluetooth, you have to go to the RTL trim level.